Hi, this is Lolly. I am back with, I believe, part seven now in my December daily binder. And last time is I was working on this, which is just a cardstock fold out here. So it's not in the page protector. So this time I want to work on a page protector again to kind of vary up the differences between the pages. So I was looking at these chipboard pieces here and I thought it would be nice to use these and so I thought maybe of all the pattern cardstock I have um, these would be too busy against the patterns so I could just um, put put it on this one here on the blank on the pale one here or the cream color boy I'm having a hard time thinking today so I think I do want to give this a little uh, color Now I'm thinking a couple things. I could do these on top of the plastic or I could put them inside on this. Um, and either way works for me. Um, I think I want to go ahead and put it on this. So I'm going to need some kind of a um, baker's twine. So I'll start with this. Um, let's see. If I want to use that or go with this one here, which is kind of a taupey color, I like it. I think what I want to do is do a knot on either end of it. I'm just untwisting the end so it frays a little bit. You know, these they they they've been wrapped around so they're not very smooth here. You know what else I'm thinking is maybe a tiny little border across here first. So let me look. Now I know I have four of these, and this is always a chat oh, five of these. It's always a challenge for me to get these on here without looking straight down on them. So I'm going to give it a, a try. These are um, stickers. One of the things I like about putting these thick chipboard pieces at the top of this page is that this page behind it, this one here, is chunky on the bottom. So this one will be chunky on top and it'll balance out the uh, the uh, notebook. The other thing that I, um, when I was going through my Christmas embellishments, I came across these, which you're supposed to uh, make loops out of and stick them together. And I thought these would be cute on here as a border but I wanted to grab some ephemera. I think I'm gonna grab this snowflake one. They're kind of this slick feel here, so I'm gonna bring it up here. I'm gonna use this or tape. Uh, think, think, think. I'm gonna try this. Now my goal in this one is to leave this part here blank for a, um, a photo or a journaling card. And I just got glue on my scissors. So, uh, but what I want to do is I can stick this in here and then put a pocket right here on the outside. In the meantime, I need to decorate this. And I see that I do have one of my little things sticking out here. I hope it's gonna work. There we go. Pretty good. Okay. Um, so I have to think about the back side here. 
Um, but in the meantime, if I can think about this being in there, um, and I can put a pocket right here on the on my page protector itself. Then I was thinking about some of this ephemera that's in here. I want one of these bigger pieces, so let's see what we have. A lot of these little tiny ones are cute, but not quite what I'm looking for. Here's another naughty and nice list that would be cute in there. There's a December 25th one. There's Christmas wishes and good tidings, Christmas wishes from our home to yours. There's different light, late styles of fashionable carriages and sleighs. Very cute. What's this one here? Oh, this is Oh Come All Ye Faithful. I think that I'm going to like that there. Okay. Something might fit right here, so maybe I should dig this back out, huh? <laughs> After all that. I didn't notice anything in particular, but I thought, well, this one says December. We could do that. So let's get the foam out here. All right, so that's lifted up there. And when this is in the pocket, uh, this will be in front of it. And you will see the um, this border on either side of that pocket that I just put in there. Oh, that works really well with that little pocket there. Okay, so what I need to do now is figure out the very back of this, which means I need to pull it back out of there. Um, Think, think, think. Let me look and see what papers I have to work with. I was wondering about maybe a piece of this and then this in front of it. Again, I'm just thinking as I go along. Um, let me look at these borders here. This would work with it pretty well. Um, I have another thought for this too, so I'm, I, I don't want to give away that idea just yet. I think it is probably time to do one of these. I could put a, um, let's see what I have in the way of scraps. I keep seeing these threads sticking out there and I keep thinking it's something I need to pull off. <laughs> I'm wondering about piecing this together by stitching it. And I kind of like the idea of bringing some green in here. Okay. Just a thought. I'm not sure I'm really thrilled with it, but you know, we'll see. Could spread it out, could do that. And this could be a focal point for a journaling card right there. Also thinking about one of these, so not sure. If I did, I might not have all the layers that I'm putting together here. Okay, I'm thinking that this is too big of a border. So I think I'm going to stitch this on here, but I need to tack it on there first or it's going to come apart in my sewing machine. And I'm going to stitch that on there, and then I think I'm actually going to stitch this on there as well. I know it's rather large. So then once I do that, once I stitch these pieces, I think I'm going to make this whole thing a pocket here. Okay, so let me go play around with that. So let's see if I can get that. You see that I have stitching zigzag across here and zigzag on the bottom and top of this piece here. 
this focus in there. So if I put this on there somewhere, probably toward the bottom, that way as a pocket it would hold more items. As I was going through my stuff, I also came across this, which I fell in love with. I'm not sure if this is the right page for it. This might be a little too cutesy for my for my project, so we'll see. But they're adorable. They look like little clay or dough gingerbread men. They're probably like foam or something. They're foam, maybe. And they are so adorable, but it's a streamer of it. Cute are those? I don't think there's enough going on around the top here in order to try and make these just the only focal point. Um, this also because I have the um, these chipboard pieces on the back, it would make for a really chunky top. So I might save these for something else. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to use these for the numbering though. Okay, so this is going to be eight and nine. Let me see if these are too big for what I'm wanting. Nah, that works just fine. So the question is, I probably need a better glue for that. Let's just see if glossy accents will do the trick for me. Now these are on foam stickers. I'm probably going to take that foam off because I don't think I need it to be sticking up from what I'm doing. That might work out. Let me see. I always look and see where it needs to go according to where. I think it needs to go toward the left here. Like right here. Okay, let me get some better glue, literally better glue. And then when that sets up in a couple minutes, I will turn it over and glue this to the opposite side. So I know that I'm going to have this here. I think it'll work right now. I don't think I really need to wait, so I'll just glue the whole thing on there. It does not take much at all. I'm putting a thin coat on this and I'm spreading it around. Okay, I still feel like I need something here. I'm not sure what, but even though I have this pocket here to put a journaling card in, I'm thinking about what else I could do. And I have, I have a thought. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to work. Hold on. I decided to take a tag out of this um, pack that I just got, and I'm going to trim that down to six inches so that I can use my six inch paper pad. I thought I could make a tag to go in this pocket, and that would give some uh, decoration, something to look at up here now. Uh, and still put a journaling card in there afterwards. So these are the same papers that are in the bigger paper pad, but they're just tinier prints, which is really nice. And the question is, which one is going to look good sticking out here? There's the tiny, there's that. that would look really cute, I think. Love it, you know how much I love that one. They're all cute, and there really is, there's no way to say one is better than the other, so that would make a good tag. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is trim this down. I'm going to do a layer here, so it's six inches now, right? Once I cut that off of there. And then it's supposed to be three and a quarter, but these really are three and an eighth. Okay, so that will be my cut.
cover, my base for this. But then I want to layer something else on there. I'm cutting this at two and a quarter by, I'm just kind of making this up as I go along, by four. I'm just making anything in there. I'm not really being too particular. And I think I want to round these corners. If this were going to be um, just a regular tag, I think I would use some foam to pop that up. But since it's going to be in this pocket and the pocket is really thin, I don't think I want to. Um, I don't think I want to put any uh, foam on that. I'm not sure about this. Let me look at the ephemera pack again and see if there's anything in the ephemera pack that I might want, you know, words that I might want to put on there. Well, there's something down in here. I have to dig to get it. I should just put this in a bowl. I think that would be the best thing for me to do. Cheeriest of seasons. That's very cute, but it's kind of getting lost in the images here. Ooh, this is a nice tab right there. I want to use that. Peace on Earth would show up. This is a good size, Seasons Greetings, because it fits right inside there. So now I have something to break up the monotony of this page here. I'm going to take this off. And get these. Now this is going to make it really chunky to stick this into its pocket, but we'll, we'll see. This might be all for naught. <laughs> So these stars are actually inside this plastic bag right there. Okay, so now we've got the six, seven, there's the eight, and the nine. You know what? I just stuck that in the wrong pocket. Oh dear. I'm just going to put another pocket on there. There we go. There, that makes it a lot easier. And then I can use this one for something else. I'll pull that out right now so I don't forget. There we go. So now I still have a pocket here that I can put a journaling card in and or a photo. And I can pull this out and put a journaling card or photo behind here. And I can also put other things, other embellishments in this right here, including, is there anything here that I like? No, not particularly at the moment. I think I just want to leave that as it is. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you open the links down below this video to see the rest of this uh, whole process as I'm putting this together.